I want to take you to Cincinnati now, where the prosecution and defense have rested their cases in the corruption trial of former House Speaker Larry Householder. Brittany Bailey listened to the testimony, and she's telling us here what happened. Today, a change in attorneys from defense to prosecution meant a change in tone for Larry Householder on the stand. We went from direct testimony to cross-examination, which also then wrapped up today. But before court even started, I asked Larry Householder about his testimony that has conflicted with what other witnesses have had to say. Your testimony yesterday did not match some of the previous witnesses. Who's lying in this case? Who's <laughs> lying? Well, I know I'm telling the truth. That was Larry Householder telling me he's telling the truth in his federal racketeering trial. And he got pressed on that truth today by the prosecutor. During direct, Householder tried to distance himself from the 501c4 group, Generation Now, and from influence by First Energy Solutions. So here are three things that came out in testimony today. Hotel receipts show Cleveland businessman Tony George paid for Householder's hotel room during his inauguration trip, where he also took the First Energy plane to get there. There. He says he thought the Ohio Republican delegation had paid for that room. Call logs the FBI extracted from Householder's phone show several calls to Attorney General Dave Yost were deleted. Householder said he did that to save storage space on his phone, not to conceal evidence. And in a recording played in court, Householder can be heard saying, we like war. He goes on to suggest messing with, although he used harsher language than I'm able to use on television, those who do not support him. The recording was played after Householder testified that no one who did not support him suffered any consequences, including those who supported Ryan Smith for speaker over him. Of course, this entire line of questioning during cross-examination was designed to prove that Householder was indeed tied to both Generation Now and First Energy Solutions, and that he did exert control and his power to push through House Bill 6. As we mentioned today, both sides rested their cases. So up tomorrow, the judge will meet with attorneys, and then on Monday, the jury will return for jury instructions, and then on Tuesday, those closing arguments will begin. Reporting in Cincinnati, Brittany Bailey, 3 News.